Good evening, uh, Vinyl Community. So um, we're going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a test on something here. Um, I got this on eBay. Uh, this band on the Run album know, a year or two ago, um, and it's had some pretty heavy surface noise. Um, every time I played it, I've tried surface cleaning it. Um, I don't have a wet method of cleaning yet. I know you can usually just use your sink, but I don't have like all the brushes and everything yet. Um, one thing I've asked for for Christmas is a uh, uh, like a wet cleaning method of cleaning vinyl records. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to try doing the wood glue method. I've tested this on a few of the eBay um, uh, eBay box purchases on my that I got on the video previously that I did on the unboxing. Um, and I've had some success with it, so I thought I'd do a video about it, but I don't, this is going to be one I'd really hope this works for. Okay, so, um, this is going to be how I apply the, rec uh, the glue. Um, I've done a lot of research on this. Um, uh, most of the successful videos that I saw, uh, with the wood glue method was using this, uh, Tight Bond 2 Premium Wood Glue. I had some Elmers, but I didn't want to risk even the, some of the other albums that I got on eBay. I wasn't really in wanting to risk trying to have it because I saw a lot of videos where people were, um, it was like, I guess hardening to the point where it was cracking. When they would try to peel it off, it would just chip off and there was a lot of pieces left over. What I was hoping to get is where I can apply the glue peel the skin off and it just will pull off in one large piece or just maybe one or two pieces. Um, I actually used this myself and did it myself on some of the Ebays as I mentioned a minute ago and um, it worked. I was able to get the glue to come off in one continuous piece. Um, the reason why I think this is going to be, and I'm using this as my video demonstration, is because this album really has, it's really has a great looking surface play. I mean, I know it's hard to tell on here, but I mean, you can see it's really glossy. It looks really good, but there's just a lot of popping. Um, and I don't see a lot of scuffs and anything like that that would cause that. So I'm just thinking this is probably just an old album that hasn't been cleaned deep, you know, deeply clean in a while. So um, I know most, if not all the videos I checked, uh, they were using their... Uh, turntable to do it. I've only got one turntable and I'm not uh, going to try to risk it and get glue on it and ruin it or at least get stuff on it. I don't know. I'm just not even going to go there. So I, even when I applied these before, I did it a couple different albums. Just like I'm doing now. I have this little, this little felt thing or whatever this is came with. It's like a foam piece. Came with uh, one of the records I unboxed recently. So I'm kind of using that just to put that on there um, to cushion underneath um, and what I found out is if I put a little bit thicker layer of glue around the edge and then just kind of word worked my way in um, and then just used I used a spatula like this just to, to even it out I found that um, when I had like a little bit of a thicker edge I was able to grab it and peel it a lot easier uh, one thing that I did learn too is I have to be patient and this is definitely when you're working with this kind of um, cleaning um, really with anything with vinyl uh, you have to be really patient because uh, what I noticed is I let mine cool for about two hours and everything was perfect except there was like one little spot that I guess was still kind of wet so when I peeled it everything was great until except for that one little spot was just a little bit damp so there was a smudge there um, and I just let that dry a little longer after I peeled the skin off the rest of it and that came off so it wasn't that big of a deal um, but I think with this demonstration I'm going to uh, allow it to dry a little bit longer than I did so I'm going to try to do this the best I can but you know having the turntable definitely would make it easier to do the, the, the application but it's not a requirement. But see, I'm going to put like a real thick layer right around the edge. That way it comes right off. I 
and I'm not really going to mess with this part of it. So see, I got a nice, just follow the, the you know, the circle. Now what I'm going to do, but you don't want to put too much either. That's one thing I learned, but you don't have, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly circular because you're still going to have to go in and even this out. So if you don't have an extra turntable and you're not wanting to, you know, risk getting your turntable with glue on it, then don't, you know, try this method. But I also did the same thing on the inner circle, right where the grooves stop. I did a real thick outer edge. That way there's no problem peeling that thing off whenever. Alright. So we got it just about everywhere. And you can kind of pull from the outer edge and pull in. Same thing when you're on the out. You just want to make sure you get it covered. And just FYI, this is like for deep cleaning only. Like if you just have dust on the top, don't waste the money. But there's this, I was researching. Um, and there's this product, I believe it's out of Australia, called Record Revirginizer. And it's basically the exact same thing, but it's like using, like, I think, like some sort of silicone-based uh, product. Problem is, the bottle is like $26, and then to ship it, it's like $26 or something. It's like, it ended up being like $54 to do it. And this bottle of glue was 5 I think it has a lot more in it than that record stuff. So practiced again on some records that I wouldn't wasn't um, afraid of ruining because I didn't pay but a dollar for them. And I recommend the same thing. If you're going to try this, try it on a bad record first. You know, go to, go to you can go to a thrift store, go to Goodwill. Half Price Books even has clearance records. Buy a bad album, doesn't matter what it looks like, just buy one to make sure you can apply it and peel it before you try it on a record that you would be upset about if it didn't work. So see, I'm just patiently going through Making sure I've covered everything, and again, it's important to use a pro, like a something like this spatula because you don't want it scratching up the record. So yeah, now I'm going to go in and pull from the out or inner edge out, but leave the inside and the outside as much as you can. And once this starts drying, it'll dry, it'll clear up when it's drying. You'll see it almost, it'll get transparent. Not all the way, but it'll be like a hazy looking skin on it. Like a yellowish color, but almost see through. And this may take a little bit longer than if you had a turntable that can spin and just apply it, but again, a couple of extra minutes isn't going to hurt anything as long as you don't ruin your turntable. Looks like I've gotten all the pretty 
dark spots. There's not really any open spots. Um, it looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a fan on this and I'm going to let it sit for about three hours. And I'm going to come back in about three hours and if it doesn't look like it's dry, I may let it sit overnight. So um, I'll let you see what happens. Okay, uh, so uh, I waited three hours and it still had some like yellow bubbling spots. Uh, so it didn't look like it was completely dry. So I went ahead and waited the full eight or a full at eight hours, and it is you can see it's virtually clear. Um, these little spots are just little bubbles, I guess, like the dried. But um, so now should be able to find a spot. Peel it. You just kind of have to just kind of see where the glue is at. I guess yes, yeah, got a spot right there. See how it came up like that. Again, patience is the key for this process. You just kind of lift it until okay. See, I got it lifted. So now you just kind of pull it, see how it's coming up. You know, what I, what I was doing, what I had most success with was just pull a little bit at a time, and then eventually it'll come up. And it comes, this is the third time I've done this, and it comes right off. You can see the grooves, but it does a really good job. And if, you, if you're patient, it will come right off. like that you literally have a glue version of your album <laughs> 